So you're wanting to make custom men at arms in Crusader Kings 3 for version either 1.15 or 1.16. If you are coming from a previous video that has explained how to upload a mod and create folders within, go to this timestamp. So to start us off, we're going to go to all installed mods, and then we're going to go upload mod. So here we're going to create a mod. We're going to call it uh, test men at arms or test MAA version 0.1, which is the version of the mod directory test ma and then we're going to go put a tag in so for this will be warfare create mod and then once that's done we're going to go to our file explorer and then go to documents paradox interactive crusader kings 3 mod and then we'll find our mod folder in here but first what we want to do is open this file here it's an atom file and we want to change the supported version so in my instance i'm going to go 1.16 point asterisk which essentially means that any version of 1.16 point whatever is supported with this mod. And we're going to have to do the same thing inside our recently made mod folder. So 1.16 1 point asterisk. And once we're done with that, what we can do is we can go new folder common and new folder localization. So what this is doing is essentially it is copying the base game file directories so for example, we've got in these base game files here, we've got common and localization in here. So we're just copying those locations. So back in our common folder, we're gonna open that and we're gonna create a new folder called min at arms types. And then back out of there, and then go into localization folder, create a new one there called English. So that's what our file directory is gonna be looking like for today. What we can do now is open up Visual Studio Code. Once we've got the Visual Studio open with our folder within, we can start making some new files. So I'm gonna go new file and then type in 00 underscore test underscore MAA underscore types dot text. So anywhere the text, uh, the test word shows up, you can swap with anything that you would like. So we're just gonna create that file there and then start creating our main alarms. So I'm gonna name this one uh, test underscore knights equals curly brackets. And then what we have to do now is declare the type. So you could have skirmishes, heavy infantry, bowmen, all sorts of things, including and beyond that. Type equals, so you can put a full stop in here and see all the different options, as I was saying before. We're just going to use uh, skirmishes for today. And then you have to declare the damage, toughness, pursuit, and screen. So damage equals, let's say 15, toughness, really helps if you can spell. Uh, toughness equals 12, pursuit equals 10, screen equals 20. So these are values that I have just assigned on random, but you can choose whatever you like. You could go completely gross and do 150 damage, for example, but for today I'm just gonna do these small numbers. And moving on from that, we've got terrain bonuses. So we've got a whole bunch of different terrains that we could choose from. We can go forest, tiger, jungle, wetlands, all sorts of things. But uh, we're just gonna choose three today. So we're gonna go damage equals four, toughness equals six. So these are bonuses within the terrain. So that means that these units are best in these terrains that we're declaring here. So tiger equals damage four, toughness six. And we'll go again for jungle, for example. Uh, damage equals four, toughness equals six. So that's our terrain bonus is done. So what we can do now is go into counters. So counters are what your units are best at killing. So for today, we can just go with heavy infantry equals one. You could put values like 0 0.5 if you don't want that strong of a counter, or you could even go two or beyond, depending on how strong you want to, your units to be against those. Moving on, we can go to can recruit. So this is a bunch of parameters that will allow or disallow your nation or kingdom, whatever, to recruit these units. So in this case, we're going to simply just have it so that people who are nomadic or herders so this is the most recent 1.16 update. People who are nomadic or herder rulers can't recruit these units. So if we go government has flag equals government is 
nomadic. And then we can do the same thing for government has flag, government is herder. So the people that have the government's nomadic and herder can no longer recruit these units. Then moving on, we can go to uh, should show when unavailable. So this is again a 1.16 update. With this in here, we can go government allows equals subject underscore men at underscore men at arms. So this is in combination with the can recruit here. So what it does is there's two ways that a nomadic or herder government can recruit men at arms. One is involving the cost of a herd and one of them is just gold. So what we're doing with this is making it so that our units can only be purchased with gold and not herd as it wouldn't make sense. And then moving on from that, we can go from up to buy cost and then put gold equals skirmisher recruitment cost so these are default values that are defined in the base game files i do highly recommend looking through these files as well to get ideas or get inspiration as to what you could put in your men alarms as well and then we can go to low maintenance cost uh, gold equals skirmisher low maintenance cost so this is when your men alarms aren't raised that'll be the cost of that as again this is a base or default value that the game gives for footman i have realized as well that you shouldn't need to have these curly brackets and then we'll go to high maintenance cost gold equals skirmisher high maintenance cost so this is when your units are raised and then we go to provision cost provision cost so this is when you're a landless ruler at provisions cost infantry cheap i have actually misspelt the provision cost here i've misspelt it as provisions so uh, change that if you copied exactly what i wrote so on that note we can go to the top of the page and actually add a at provisions cost infantry cheap and then we'll put it to a value of three. So each county that you travel as a landless ruler, it will cost you three provisions when you have these units in your men alarms. Then we'll go to holy order fallback. So this is where the holy orders are allowed to be, uh, are allowed to select your regiment type if there are no valid options for them. And we'll put that as yes. Uh, and then we'll put the stack. So this is how big your regiment is. So I'm just gonna have it a default of 100. You could change that to be 1000 if you want. If you've got a really weak unit that are essentially levies, you could have it as 1000, but I'm just gonna have it as 100. And then AI quality, curly brackets, value equals culture, AI weight skirmishes. So this is how likely the AI are going to be buying your units. And then we'll put the icon as skirmishes. I have misspelt here, skirmishes. Um, but yeah, anyway, so this is the end of this Test Knights Regiment. We can move on to the localization file, which is in here. So if we go create new file and go test underscore regiment underscore L underscore English dot YML. And this is a really short file. So we go L underscore English colon and then test underscore knights colon zero. And then we've got to name our unit. So I'm just going to name it as test knights and then add the flavor text under it. So test knights flavor colon zero. And then this is a flavor text. And to make sure as well, you are using UTF with bomb when you're editing .yml files. So to change that, you click on the bottom here, this select encoding, save with encoding, and then it's UTF eight with bomb. This will, make it so that your .yml files are saving and will work in the game. And so that's the end of our min alarm types. We can go and try this out in game. I will show you my workflow when dealing with mods that I've just created. So if you go to upload mod, you select the mod that you've been working on. So in my case, test MAA, then click on Steam Workshop and add a at least 10 character description. Leave the mod ID empty and upload the mod. So what that's doing is updating Steam as to what you've put in your files. 
and now we can go into Steam and then click Workshop and click Files You've Posted, Test MAA, and then subscribe to that mod. Then go to your playset, and then add to your current playset once it's done downloading. All right, since that is done downloading, I'm going to now click Play. So once that's all launched up, we can go ahead and choose any age we like, select any ruler, just click Start, then have a look at the military and see if you can create a regiment with your unit. You can. So these guys here, they counter the heavy infantry, they've got a flavor text, it costs maintenance. Cool. So just testing the landless rulers. So we've got our test knights here. They do have a provision cost per tribal barony, so that is perfect and that is all working. So the nomadic rulers can't recruit from here, but they can recruit from the other screen. So that's also working there. Cool. So that's the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Uh, like the video if you like the video and uh, leave a sub if you want to see any more tutorials. Cheers.